तेरी नजर आवारूंगी मैं तेरे इशक दूंगी मैं तेरी नजर आवारूंगी मैं तेरे इशक दोला पहन के मैं तुझ में especially those who are watching our films and following us on our social channels like Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter and our Instagram. So, on this reason shall also depend to the geography, but it is not a branch, but it is the formation of the it is the formation of the hot spring and Jesus. And what is the hot spring? First first of all you have to know the hot spring and the geyser. Are the difference between the geyser and the hot spring. Hot spring is an outflow of the superheated water from a ground which contain some mineral substance, same mineral substance in the solution. Example in the east of Rwanda, Lubavu district, Descent and Kenya and Ethiopia where they are carrying out the geothermal power for different purposes. The hot spring, as this definition has said, it is an outflow of the superheated water from the ground, which contain the same mineral materials. Uh, what caused this water to superheat the oil to have this extreme temperature? We shall see it. The hot spring, what is the hot spring? This are, uh, this are intense phosphoric emission of the water from the ground. Uh, this ground is a superheated bedrock that overlies on the mantle to a high altitude in atmosphere. Look this diagram, I think it is obvious and apparent, especially those who learn geography. Uh, I think you are seeing this diagram. So we are going to, to name them. This is a mantle as usual, or as in a sphere. This is the mantle. And the, in the fact that the mantle is very superheated and it has the extreme temperature and intense temperature, Together with the pressure, extreme temperature, temperature within the atmosphere, it is superheat this bedrock. I think this is a bedrock which overlie or which overlies on the what on the mantle. And when this when this bedrock go get, uh, get get extreme temperature from the mantle it becomes very hot and if it becomes very hot the water which overlie on this on this bedrock also it is superheated what cause this water to superheat i have said that because this bedrock is very is very hot because of the extreme temperature within the mantle which are Lazing here, this is superheated bedrock, so uh, it superheat this water, and if this water get extreme temperature, and associated with the pressure, the tectonic forces or tensional forces within the mantle, it devastate and it makes it makes a uh, the line of the weakness or a fissure to be formed in order this fissure to be formed there are at least five main conditions necessary for the formation of the hot spring the first necessary condition it is the presence of the fracture this fracture the presence of the fracture or fissure in the crust lock through which water could came out I have told you how this how this rain of the weakness does form. It is because of the tensional forces which are pushing outward. And if they push outward, it makes or it devastates the crust lock to form to form a line of the weakness like this as you see. That is the first main uh, uh, that is the main that is first 
many conditions. The second one it is the presence of the cavern that holds water in the ground. Or that is the drainings of the water. Here, that is the cavern. To those who does not don't know the cavern, a cavern is a natural channel. So if the water are here in the cavern, we have I have told you that these water are separated because of the bed of bedrock where they overlay. And when there's law, and when there's water superheated within the within the cavern, within the cavern, the third one is availability of very superheated bedrock material in deep ground to boil the water that enters the log fracture. The availability of the superheated bedrock that is this, it is available as you see. Because it is superheated, it will superheat the water which overlie here. And we and when there is water that overlie here, get extreme temperature or get extra, extreme hotness, the presence of the joint or float line in the log that can allow water to arrive into the ground, especially the rain fall water. I think also you are observing. That is the deep holes, which lead this water, especially the rainfall water, from the uh, from the from the crust, from the crust, going downward, the bedrock, all that superheated the bedrock. That is the availability of joint or fissure where the rainwater can pass while going in the bedrock, or in the superheated bedrock. Finally, there should be high pressure, enough force water out of the ground. And if this water go, get superheated, or if this water are very hot, the presence of the pressure, which are here, they make this water to rise or to escape from this side up to the ground. That is water. Uh, this water are called amashusa. Normally, amashusa or or this hot spring are formed near are formed near the volcano. And I think this is the smoke which has which is rising up because of the hotness which is in this water. Also. That is the hot spring, and the, for the geyser, when pressure is very high, water comes out as the uh, as the strong fountain. Then it releases water so speedy, reaching at the great level in the atmosphere or in the high altitude of the atmosphere. Such violent injection of the superheated water is known as geysers. Here, let us use our assumption. The pressure required here. Let us use our assumption that it is equal to pressure and the pressure which has used it here to rise the water from the bed uh, from the superheated bed, bed lock up to the uh, up to the ground it is uh, like 12 pascal so there's a pressure which have required here it is very higher than that is why the, the, there's water will rise up very speedy and they will be as the strong fountain raising the water very speedy and i think here it is the smoke which is rising up so the so the difference which is between the hot spring and the geysers, it is only geysers require the very high temperature, but the hot spring require very low temperature. So that is our end of our lessons. Your own teacher, whose teachings is apparent and oblivious to everyone. If you want to follow us, you want to watch our more films, please subscribe on YouTube and uh, contact us on our addresses, email, Facebook, WhatsApp and Instagram. I love you all. Bye-bye.
तेरी नजर